In this session, we'd like to show how to create a simple user interface and then assign some action events to several of the components. So we'll start by creating a new project and we'll just call this demo1 and then we'll create a JFrame under that and we'll give it a package name of com.swingdesigner and swingdesigner We'll hit finish, and this will put us into the GUI builder. And um, to start, I'm going to change this to an absolute layout. Just um, then we'll go to our swing controls, and I'll start putting in some labels here. And I'll change this the text on this label to username. And then I'm going to put in a text field. And I'll stretch that out a little bit. Underneath it, I'm going to put in another label. And I'm going to use my alignment here. And change the text on that to password. And I'll put in a password field now. And again, I'm going to use my alignment. And now I'm going to select both of these. And I want them to be the same width. So I'm just going to say replicate width. Makes it e nice and easy to do that. Under this, I'm going to put in a slider, and I want the slider to line up with my text fields. And actually, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to line up the slider underneath the text on both sides. And I'm also going to go ahead and change some of the properties on this right away. So I'm um, going to change the major tick spacing to be 25 and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say yes paint the labels and paint the tick marks so I'll get to see those and I'll just open that up a little bit and then under this I want to go ahead and put a text pane and again I'm going to line that up and that in like this. And then finally, I'm just going to put a couple buttons in at the bottom here. And we're going to ch change the label on one to say submit. And I'll put one in next to it. That says clear. like these two to be the same height. So I get this lined up. So there we have our simple user interface. Um, and if we looked at the source for it, you can see that we have all of the components created and um, they're on the on the frame, but I don't have any any callbacks or any actions defined. So now what I want to do is come back over here and I'm going to, on the submit button, I'm going to select it and I'm going to say add event handler action and then action performed. And I'll go ahead and select that and you'll see it put, it'll put me into the source. And now it's created this listener with an action event for me. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the same thing for the clear button because I want to add an action event for that as well. And again, I get my listener and then an action event. And so now what I want to do is just add some code here for each of these for when the submit button and the clear button is pushed. So I'm just going to come in here and I can add my code. So when the submit button is pushed, um, the first thing I want to do is I want to get the text that was entered in the text field. So I'll just create a temporary variable here. And I'm going to get the the um, value from the text field, and then I'm going to create another temporary variable of uh, which is a character array called temp password, and 
and I'm going to get the password <clears throat> from that field and I need to create um, convert that now that character array into a string so I'm going to say string from the temp password and I also want to get the value from that slider. So we'll just get the value from the slider. And I also need to convert that to a string. So I'll declare another temporary value. And I'm going to convert that temporary value the integer to a string. And then I want to now output this to that text panel or text pane that we created. So I'll just do a set text and I'm going to say name put in the temp user string carriage return password and then the password string and then finally another carriage return value and the value. Okay. And that should um, that should do it for my um, for my action event. Now I see I have a, an error here so um, Go and correct this. Nice feature in our editor. Very quickly point out mistakes as I'm as I'm creating them or as I'm making them. And now I'm going to go and create the uh, action event for the clear button. And in this case, what I want to do is I'm just going to clear all of the entries. So for text field, I'm going to set text to a null string. For the password field, I'm going to again set text to a null string. For the text pane, I also set text to a null string. And for that slider, I'm going to set the value to 50, which will basically reset it to the middle. OK. So this is all I need to do then. I've added this code and um, I go back to my visual design and so now I'd like to test it. So I'm going to come up with my run button. I'm going to say run as a Java application and this will bring up my user interface that I just created. So if I type in A, B, C, D, E and I'll put in password here and I'm going to set the slider to something and now if I say submit there I see exactly the the action that I put in the submit button and when we hit the clear button again it clears all of that so very quickly and easily create the user interface and then assign those action events um, just by entering um, the specific application logic I want when the button is pressed